Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Uh, today we're going to be covering Chapter 2, Part 3, Operating Systems, part of the A-plus uh, Computer Repair Series. An OS uh, manages applications. The OS installs and runs all other PC software. Application software providing services for the user. So Microsoft Word would be a type of application. Applications uh, rely on the OS operating system for support operations. Example, MS Word relies on the OS to manage memory. Also, it uses the OS to read and write files or, or make backups of files or uh, copy files. Applications are typically tailored to a single OS. Ensure that the OS is suitable for a given application. Installing application software. Sources of application software. The internet, CDs, DVDs, or floppy disks. Also maybe flash drives. Installation program is provided by application. So every application has some kind of an installation program to install it into the OS. Tasks performed by installation program. Folders are created on the hard drive. Files are copied to these folders. For Windows, entries are made into the Windows registry, and icons are usually placed on the desktop so that you can start the program. Launching application software using the Windows desktop. An application has to be started before use. Uh, you run, load, launch, or execute this application. Normally, just an, an icon that may be on the desktop or a menu item that can be clicked on, double clicked on. Four ways to run the software. Use the shortcut icon on the desktop. Use the Start menu, use the Run command, or use Windows Explorer or My Computer. Uh, we've got the real 16-bit, the protected 32-bit, and the long 64 operating system modes. Need to understand the difference between the real and protected mode. Uh, bit type, number of bits uh, simultaneously processed. That would be referring to the 16-bit or 32-bit or 64-bit. Your real mode is a 16-bit. Uh, exposes the hardware to applications no longer used because we come up they came up with the protected mode the 32-bit mode or the long the 64-bit the OS now controls how an application uh, accesses the hardware so I don't have these memory conflicts these things used to ca used to cause a lot of blue screens preemptive multitasking is now supported multiprocessing involves multiple CPUs 16-bit, 32-bit, 64-bit software. 16-bit software written for Windows uh, 3. Uh, data access is 16 bits at a time. The 32-bit programs written for Windows NT 2000 XP and also Windows uh, the 9X and the ME. Most software today is 32-bit and we're moving to 64-bit. OS manages hardware. OS interacts with the hardware using drivers or BIOS. Software falls into three categories, device drivers or the BIOS, the operating system, and the application software. Here is a diagram of a user uh, operating the operating system. Uh, the OS relates to the hardware by the way of the BIOS and the device drivers. How an OS uh, uses device drivers to manage devices. Device drivers specify how to interact with a device. Example, a device driver links a computer to a digital camera. Drivers are provided by the OS and the device manufacturer. Three kinds of drivers correspond to the mode, 16-bit, the 32-bit, or the 64. Updated drivers are available at manufacturing sites. Always suggest to the students that you go to these manufacturing sites and get the updated drivers. This can create or correct a lot of problems that you might experience uh, somewhere along the way. The engineers generally don't have the drivers completely updated by, time, by the time the device is shipped. And they're always coming up with enhancements or improvements. So it would be a good idea to get these. How an OS uses System BIOS to manage devices. System BIOS contains device information. Instructions enable the CPU to communicate uh, with devices. Example, a keyboard activated at startup using the BIOS. 
configure the BIOS device interaction in the CMOS setup so we can do some configuration of the BIOS. The OS may use uh, System BIOS to access the device. The disadvantage of using the BIOS is the device management. The BIOS doesn't run as fast as the device driver. How an OS manages memory. Memory functions performed by the OS's startup. Launches utilities to manage memory. Assigns addresses to each location of memory. So all the different parts of memory or each location has an address assigned to it. Drivers, OS, and application use memory addresses. Enable three software layers to refer to shared data. The OS controls memory access in protected mode. The address space of a program is protected. Virtual memory expands the number of running programs. Protected mode allows more than one program to run, each protected from the other by the operating system. So it creates these little virtual areas so that each one is protected and they access memory, not directly, but through uh, this OS. OS uh, tur tools to examine a system. There's a variety of tools that are available. Windows Desktop, uh, My Computer, Windows Explorer, System Properties, Your Control Panel, Device Manager, uh, System Information, Windows Help, and the Microsoft website. Uh, primary tool provided by the Windows Shell. Terms associated with the desktop. Taskbar displays information. Offers program access. Services support program running the, in the background. Uh, system tray displays the icons for running services. Shortcut desktop icon pointing to a program. Tools used to configure the desktop. Dis Display uh, properties windows. Taskbar system tray shortcuts. Windows uh, XP desktop and shortcut mem menus. My computer and Windows Explorer. Used to manage files, folders, and other resources. Perform a wide variety of tasks using shortcut menus. Example, create a new file. Files and folder operations performed with Explorer. Creating a folder. Deleting a folder. Changing file attributes or changing folder op options. Uh, in review, real and protected mode. Uh, the real mode, again, that was the 16 bit, uh, access the hardware and the memory directly. Protected mode, Microsoft came up with this as a way to prevent programs from interfering with each other and uh, using the same memory, which would cause a conflict and you get a blue screen. So it uses a, what's a, it's like a virtual system. So anytime it's trying to, to access memory, uh, Microsoft captures these accesses and reassigns. If they're trying to get to the same place in memory, it re reassigns it to a new place. Device drivers. Very important to understand device drivers. They communicate with the operating system and control hardware. So every piece of hardware on the computer needs a device driver. Sometimes BIOS takes care of this. But if device drivers are updated, you should go back to the manufacturer's website and get the new device drivers. This might correct a lot of problems that you might be experiencing. Also might provide some new features. The BIOS, part of the computer, software instructions. These can be used uh, by the operating system uh, to gain access to things like the keyboard. So there's instructions in the BIOS. Slower than device drivers, so they're, they're not as preferred. OS tools. Many OS tools in Windows for examining uh, hardware such as uh, device manager used quite a bit for examining different pieces of hardware. Uh, you can use device manager to update drivers and examine uh, your hardware. Use it to determine if uh, devices have been installed properly. Activities. Uh, I want you to explain real and protected OS mode. What is the difference? Explain what a device driver is. Uh, where would you find updates? Why would you want updates? Why don't you also do Lab 2.5, Compare Operating Systems, and turn in the review questions at the end of that. That's it for this section. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Bye.